Hey there, so I had somebody ask about vacuuming when you have diastasis because she says it seems to have made it worse because she is cleaning houses or maybe a business, I'm not sure, uh, but the vacuum is heavy. So I wanted to give you some tips and advice on this because yes, a lot of moms can actually hurt themselves when they have been um, vacuuming. So number one, if you can, get a lighter vacuum cleaner. Now, um, I used to have a cleaning business, so I know you can get great vacuums that do an amazing job that are lightweight, okay? Um, there's all different kinds of them. So the problem when we vacuum is we're like, we, we hunt a lot, okay? And maybe you haven't, but a lot of people, you know, we're vacuuming and we're hunching. So what, sorry about that noise. <laughs> so what we wanna practice is hip hinging and even lunging. So it's gonna be a workout, um, but that's okay because you're gonna work on your glutes, which is great for your pelvic floor. And we all know if you deal with diastasis, working on your pelvic floor will help your diastasis, okay? So instead of hunching, you can actually lunge forward. So how, so my ladies who've been following me for a long time, okay, you can do your breath work while you're doing this, okay, and you can actually do some lunges, right like this, if you need to get under something, so I'm going under a bench right now, so you can kind of lunge, and then when you come up, you're gonna breathe out, okay? Um, another thing you can do is you can walk, just like this, walk the whole length, and then you come back, and you're just walking, okay? So instead of just doing this, because we really get in this habit, and I am hunched right now. So you can also hinge hip, you know, hinge at your hips, and do it like this, okay? And you make it a workout, so you'll breathe in and breathe out. And when you breathe out, you lift your pelvic floor, engage your TBA, and you just kind of move to the side and keep it this way. Okay, so you're lunging. You lunge here, or you can hip hinge. So um, we think that we're doing okay, but you're just getting in the habit of vacuuming wrong. So I think, yeah, I've got a broom in here, okay? And um, maybe if I can get this off. The same thing, like, when we're sweeping or mopping, you know, we just tend to, like, bend over a whole lot. So, those of you with diastasis, when you're hunched over and bent over, think about if you had a zipper on your pants. If you were, like, hunched over, it would be open. So, that's the same with your diastasis when you are hunched over. So, you just have to really watch it and get yourself in correct alignment. Put your weight in your heels Make this an ab workout, okay? So when you go like this, I want you to, okay? So you're gonna breathe in, engage, pull your pelvic floor, and engage your TVA. Breathe out, breathe out, and try not to hunch, stand up. So you're getting double duty here when you do this correctly because, you know, instead of just, you know, sweeping and hunching like this, like we always do, you're gonna be more glute focused instead of lower back focused. This is gonna help back pains, everything like that, okay? Also use your lunging motion. If you wanna get under a cabinet, work on your glutes. <laughs> Hold it right here. And I know this may be frustrating because you just wanna sleep a floor, but if you get in the habit of this, you're going to strengthen your glute muscles um, which is good for your pelvic floor, okay? So walk your vacuum cleaner, hip hinge, okay? Really engage if you're hip hinging, okay? And then do your lunges. But your breath work and not tucking under and hunching is key. So um, if this helps, I would really like for you to let me know in the comments. Um, I would like for you to ask me any questions. If you have a, um, you want another video of something else, 
let me know <laughs> and I hope this helped so this is just a really quick video to explain this the same like I said with mopping and everything like that so all right ladies I hope this helped <laughs> bye